CRF. CRF 300F. And he's going to do some modification on it. Good afternoon, YouTubers. We are getting ready to do some modifications on the old CRF 300L. This little toolbox here on the bottom, I don't really like very well. And this has only got a two gallon fuel tank. So what I'm proposing to do is take this, this tool caddy thing here that I got on Amazon and mount that right where that toolbox is. And with this tool caddy thing, this MRS fuel tank or fuel bottle will fit right in it. So, I accomplished a couple things to get rid of this little toolbox that I'll never use. I carry some extra fuel with me. And I think it'll all look good. So, we'll give her a whirl. So, the first thing you want to do is take off this seat. I already had these loose. Okay, took that off. Take the seat off. Then we take this bolt off down here. Okay, pop this thing off. There's like three, three screws in here that hold this little toolbox up. Pop that off. Set that to the side. And then, with the old fuel, let's take this out. This thing I think I've got to mount this right like that so the fender don't rub. I, this thing came flat. It was flat with the cylinder. I heated it up and bent it up so it so it's straight up and down. And then this should go where that right there. That should go something like that. So, as I drilled a couple holes in that bracket right there, I might drill another one. And then this thing down here, I am going to cut that off, and there's a bolt hole right there. I am going to make a bracket to fit from there to there out of some stainless steel. So, but I think it's going to turn out pretty good. I had to make sure that it was not in the way of the sprocket and the, or the chain and the chain guard. So, but... Let me make that bracket, and I'll be right back with you. Made this bracket right here out of a piece of stainless steel that bolts on here, that bolts on there. So I'll get this bolted up, and we'll go from there. Okay, I've locked, put some Loctite on there. Got it all bolted up to there. So, now that's going to go on right here. And 
little shorter bolt. Make sure my fuel thing will fit in there still. And it does. Okay, I had to had to adjust a little. I did adjust a little to make make things fit, and uh, we got her going back together now. The fuel tank will now come out, and put my cap on there, and I'm gonna keep my registration right in there too because it's water water tight. Right there. And uh, let me get it all put together and show you how it looks. It's all back together. Doesn't look too bad there. I mean, I'm going to use that for fuel because that's only got a two gallon tank. And I was scared I would run out of fuel and I wanted to have a little extra. So, and I can still use my helmet. This was what was on there. And now I got that. And I can take this off. It's watertight. I got my registration insurance card in there and I got my fuel bottle that fits right in there 30 ounces of fuel I bought these the bottle and the tube on Amazon I had to do a little fab I mean but if you wanted to you could haul tools in there and it haul a whole lot more tools than that little toolbox that was on there and I think it turned out pretty stinking good my son-in-law's got a 250 rally it's a pretty nice bike I think it's a 2017 him and I is going to do some rides this summer and then I just got the the 300 uh 300l i've done the modification some modifications you've seen a few and uh it's i'm gonna eventually get a new shock and a new uh exhaust but the exhaust is gonna be down the road he's already got an exhaust on his it sounds pretty good and runs pretty good <laughs> That's uh that's it for this modification on the CRF 300L and uh we'll get back with you later